Hey guys, it's X, and today we're going to be playing some Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> it's funny, I've got Deus Ex Human Revolution bought and downloaded and installed, and uh, I'm playing Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> I just wanted to do this to relax. It's Friday night, I'm just chilling, and yeah, I noticed I haven't put some, I haven't put any YouTube videos up in a while. It's been a couple weeks, and even I've noticed that even when I do put up YouTube videos these days, they go up for like... Uh, I might put out a burst of videos for like a week, maybe a week and a half, and then I tend to disappear for a little bit uh, off of YouTube. What I've been doing is I've been live streaming a lot, and I know a lot of you aren't a fan of the live stream, but I find the live stream relaxing, and that's pretty cool, I think, because uh, video games should be relaxing. They should be fun, and they shouldn't be something that you look at too seriously. And I think that's one of the reasons I'm not into the YouTube thing. Or are not as much into the YouTube thing as I used to be anymore. I mean, maybe it'll come back, but I just have to admit it to myself these days that I'm just not feeling it anymore when it comes to YouTube. Oops, I can't believe I just actually lost a life in Donkey Kong Country. Um, I guess it's because I'm commentating. But yeah, I'm not saying YouTube's bad, YouTube's boring, or anything like that. But uh, YouTube's changed. It really has. Um, the types of people you see on YouTube isn't... Uh, isn't what it used to be. You used to have a lot of people who did YouTube for the games and did it for. Well, I'll tell you why I why I started YouTube and why I still do YouTube. Um, to me, it's all about sharing my gaming experience with others. I mean, when I was much younger, when I was a kid, uh, I used to sit in my bedroom with a bunch of friends and we used to play video games, and that was pretty much how you did multiplayer back then. <laughs> um, this is the Super Nintendo era back when not everybody had a computer and definitely nobody had broad uh, like very few people had broadband internet if anybody did at the time and uh, yeah that's how video games were done man you invited a bunch of friends over uh, you guys all sat around and you took turns playing on a two-player console sometimes even just one player playing while everyone else just hung out and that was fun I loved doing that that was immensely cool I mean if you wanted to show off in front of people all you had to do was like get good at a game and then you know next time you gather at someone's house you would just play that game and be like oh man that's awesome or whatever it was a, it was good times and you know your your greatest allies were also your your most bitter of opponents when it came to games like Killer Instinct and Mortal Kombat and things like that so yeah it was pretty awesome back then and that's what YouTube uh, is to me that's why I do YouTube. I do that because I just uh, I do it because I just want to share my gaming experience. You know, as you grow older, uh, eventually you stop going over to people's houses just to play video games. I mean, sure, it still happens occasionally when you're an adult, but it's not like it used to be like in your summers during elementary school and things like that. And that's the uh, that's the essence of basically what I was trying to recapture when I started doing YouTube. Actually, no. When I started doing YouTube, I was just trying to fill a void. Uh, there was a YouTuber by the name of Wow Hobbs, and he did World of Warcraft gold farming. And when he announced that he wasn't going to be doing gold farming anymore, when he was taking a break, I was like, you know what? Um, I, I think I could do the stuff that he does with my Death Knight. I could do the same things he does, but differently. And, you know, if I showed everybody else how I do things, maybe it'll open it up to a new class in World of Warcraft for uh, that'll be able to do some gold farming. And I could show some people how to do it. Um, also, I was working a terrible job at the time. So YouTube, to me, was... I, I felt I had to step up to the plate and and fill in where Hobbs left off. Uh, he eventually came back and he's doing his thing now. I'll actually put a link to his uh, channel in the YouTube description. Uh, he actually came back. He's doing he's doing his thing again, which is cool. But yeah, when it came to what I was doing, it was because I uh, I wanted to fill that void and because I was very much in a bad spot in life. I just didn't want... Uh, I just needed something to relieve the stress of, uh, of a bad day. And so that's what YouTube did for me. And... And later on, once I had finished doing uh, World of Warcraft tutorials, uh, as far as frost tanking is concerned, and as far as gold farming is concerned, uh, I went on to Half-Life 2 and started doing Let's Play type videos, because I found that I really enjoyed creating videos. I really enjoyed just the art of it. Um, like the act of editing videos, and rendering them, and uploading them, and reading the comments, and uh, recording. Recording was a whole lot of fun too, just playing the game. Even, even what I'm doing right now, I'm having a ton of fun just playing Donkey Kong Country, and 
live commentating over it. And yes, this is live commentary. Are you surprised that I can play this good and live commentate? Oh, you wish you could be this good. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> I lost a life on the first stage. I have, I, I can't say anything. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that's basically what YouTube should be about, I think. And video games in general, they should be fun. They should be relaxing. Um, and like I said earlier, YouTube has changed. Like everyone seems to be in it for the money now. Um, people that are starting YouTube channels keep coming up to me, keep sending me messages like, hey, X, um, I get a number of requests. Number one, uh, would you like to do a co-op sometime? People like to ask me if I, if I want to do a co-op, and uh, if they want to, if I want to put it on my channel and link to them, it's because they want more subscribers. And I also get people who just ask flat out how to get more subscribers. And um, I think before I continue with the things that I'm talking about in this video, I want to answer that question: How do you get more subscribers on YouTube? Well, honestly, in my opinion, I think if you're asking that question you won't go very far. Um, if that is honestly one of your concerns, if getting subscribers, if increasing your numbers, like your views, your likes, and your subscriber count is one of your concerns, then you're not doing it right. Um, I understand wanting people to watch the stuff that you work on. That's 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 natural. You create videos, you want people to watch them. Um, but the motivation should be the videos themselves, or the games, or whatever it is you're doing on YouTube, and not about increasing your numbers because that tells me that if you're asking how to get more subscribers um, you're seeking some sort of validation for your work rather than just letting your work speak for it just uh, letting your work speak for your uh, for itself or rather than just being happy with what you're doing and having fun doing it um, I've never asked for subscribers I've never oh no I'm gonna miss this it's worth it yes it is come on let's go get him back um, I've never asked for subscribers, I've never posted my videos on forums or other links, I've never advertised or anything like that. Um, I think if you do what you do because you love doing it, then that will show in your work. That 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 sort of, people are attracted to that kind of thing. If you're having fun because you're having fun and you're just, uh, if you're making videos and you're just having fun doing it and it's clear in your videos, um, then people are attracted to that. They're going to want to, they're going to want to stick around. And so. That is my answer to that question overall, that if you're asking how to get more subscribers, then you probably shouldn't be doing this, or I don't think you'll last very long. Now, of course, there are exceptions to the rule. There are people who are going to get subscribers anyway. Uh, those that, in my opinion, don't deserve it. I'm not naming any names, and I'm really not thinking of anybody in particular when I say this. But, yeah, I don't think... Uh, uh, obviously, there are exceptions to the rule where people are going to get subscribers that uh, who are asking for it. But those people are good at marketing themselves and things like that. Uh, but anyway, that's on a different topic. My point is that uh, overall YouTube has changed. A lot of people are looking more for the money side of things. Uh, it took me a long time for me to actually get my YouTube partnership. And even on Justin TV right now, I'm not uh, I'm not a Justin TV partner or a streamer or things like that. It's not really about the money. I like my Justin TV stream being fairly small. Um, and yeah, sure, it's a na it's a natural means of growth for a YouTuber to eventually become a partner and things like that. Or maybe not. I mean, you never know. You should just do what you do because you love doing what you do. And it seems to me that everybody these days is just all about the money, and it doesn't seem like anybody really cares about the games or the act of what they're actually doing. And that has kind of turned me off a lot when it comes to YouTube. Um, I'm not saying I'm going to quit YouTube, or um, I'm not insulting anybody in particular. Uh, like I said, I have nobody in mind when I'm actually saying these things. I really don't. Um, but, yeah, I think that's one of the main reasons that I'm not doing YouTube as often anymore. Sorry, I was concentrating through this part. Still am. I love these barrel parts in Donkey Kong Country. They're awesome. And I don't, again, I don't mean to, I don't mean to come off as some sort of negative Nancy here. I don't mean to sound like I'm... Uh, I'm hating the world when it comes to YouTube or video games or things like that. I really don't. Um, I'm having a ton of fun right now just recording Donkey Kong Country. Uh, another one of the reasons that I haven't been doing YouTube videos very much, and I don't mean this to turn into an excuse making video, I really just wanted to play Donkey Kong Country, but this is the topic that came to mind since it has been quite a while, or a couple of weeks, like two and a half weeks since I uploaded a video. But um, another reason that I haven't done it is because my latest series that I'm working on right now is Crisis 2, and Crisis 2... Uh, I don't want to say it's boring, but I just haven't felt like editing it. I really haven't. Um, and whenever it came time to sit down and make a video, I was like, you know what? I just don't feel like making a Crisis 2 video right now. But if I don't make a Crisis 2 video, then I'm going to get people complaining like, oh, good, he's got, he's given up on Crisis. And I'm pretty sure some of you have already left that comment by this point in the video. 
<laughs> and some of you, of course, are going to leave it in a joking manner now that I've mentioned it like that. But, um... But yeah, I just haven't felt like doing Crisis 2. I do have footage ready. It's the same thing that happened with Half-Life 2. I have Half-Life 2 footage ready. Uh, all I have to do is sound balance it, edit it, uh, render it, and upload it, which is still quite a quite a bit of work. I, I say all I have to do, but that's actually quite a deal of time. And I just haven't felt like doing that. Uh, I, felt, I felt like moving on to something different. What I'd like to do is uh, Deus Ex Human Revolution. I might start that up pretty soon on YouTube. Not sure, but um, one of the things that I've learned from my live stream versus YouTube is that it's very relaxing to play emulator games, especially with a controller in hand. Uh, I actually am using my PlayStation 3 controller right now on my PC, which is pretty awesome. Um, I didn't know I could actually do that. <laughs> Someone on the live stream told me that. Uh, I feel kind of bad because I'm not as tech savvy as I used to be. I used to be, uh, back in high school, I used to be real big on computers and stuff like that, but these days I've kind of fallen behind as far as that's concerned. Uh, I, I couldn't put my own computer together all the um, 100%. I got like 90% of the way through, or like 99% of the way through, and then I had to take it to a computer store to have them help me finish putting it together. It turns out the reason my PC wouldn't start whenever I got all my parts uh, shipped to me was that uh, I wasn't plugging the power supply into my graphics card. <laughs> um, see, back in my day, oh man, I sound like an old man, back in my day, we didn't have to plug in our graphics cards to the power supply. They just got their power directly from the motherboard. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I sound like right now. But yeah, that's <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Like, uh, I'm not that tech savvy anymore, so I didn't really know. I mean, I knew that I could use my PlayStation controller, I just didn't know how. Um, so yeah, playing with the game, playing games with a controller again in hand is like really fun, and it makes these emulators so much better, in my opinion. And that's one thing I've learned about my live stream is that I'm having a ton of fun just streaming every morning or whenever I can, whenever I don't have a previous obligation, like some sort of errand that I need to run or something like that. But whenever I can stream in the morning, I love to stream Zelda games, uh, emulator games, and just a bunch of random different things. Sometimes some League of Legends, and I'm having a great relaxing time just doing that. And you know what? I think I've kind of discovered that I have just as much of a relaxing time doing this on YouTube, doing what I'm doing right now, and that is recording this game of Donkey Kong Country. Um, it does feel good to get back into recording. Again, as I said earlier, I'm not giving up on YouTube. I know I've said a lot of very negative things in this video, but I do not overall have a negative outlook on YouTube. I don't. <laughs> it's just, these are just some of the thoughts that have come through my mind as I, uh, as I've been sitting here taking my short little break from YouTube. And again, I can't make any guarantees on when I will or will not be uploading um, because that's just how I run my channel. Uh, if I felt like I had to keep to a schedule or if I had some sort of quota that I had to, that I had to fill on my channel, then I wouldn't want to do it anymore at all. Like, I hate feeling obligated to do something, and that's what I get, and that's the feeling that I get sometimes whenever I get the types of comments on YouTube saying that I, that I should be uploading videos because I've got so many subscribers, or now that I'm a partner, I have an obligation to my fans to, or, um, to my fans to make new videos. First of all, I want to say no, I have absolutely no obligation whatsoever to people who just clicked a subscribe button. That's all you guys did, for the most part. Sure, there are some people who did donate for my new computer and who did donate for, uh, whenever I needed to go to the hospital at the beginning of this year. Uh, whenever I needed to go to the doctor because I didn't have money for uh, to take care of myself medically, uh, I actually couldn't breathe for like three months. I had uh, I don't know if it was bronchitis or what I forgot, but anyway, um, yeah, and I couldn't. I, I I got to the point where I just had to ask for donations. Sure, there are some people out there who did that, but I like to think they did that because uh, they enjoyed the content that I had already put out, rather than they did it expecting more content. You know. Um, of course, there may be people who think completely differently, and I'm, I'm sorry if that's the case, but again, I, I have to protect my interest in my own YouTube channel. I do. Uh, my interest in it is just to have a whole bunch of fun, and if I felt like I had to make some sort of a, a imaginary quota that was set forth by the audience, then I just wouldn't want to do it, because um, it should, like I said, it should be relaxing. It should be all about fun, and that's what I'm going to keep doing. So if I continue to take long breaks, that's just how the channel goes. <laughs> I hope... Most people will be able to accept that. That's I do what I do when I do what I do. That's that's how I that's how I run my channel. Uh, and again, I have to I have to keep reiterating that I do not have a negative outlook as far as YouTube is concerned or the audience is concerned or anything along those lines. Uh, these are just some of the thoughts that have been going through my head recently. It's been pretty hard to to actually sit down and make a YouTube video, knowing that as soon as I upload this one, um, I'm gonna get all kinds of. Um, 
almost spiteful comments like, oh, look, now he's done with Crisis 2, or oh, look, who finally decided to upload, or something like that. Uh, it can get kind of tiresome to hear things like that all the time. It really can. Um, the bad, uh, it's called a vocal minority, I know that. Um, uh, I have 177 or 178,000, honestly, I haven't checked in a while. Uh, subscribers, and I know the majority of them s subscribe and still like what I do, but the thing is, when people are content with something, they tend not to say anything. It's almost as if that's how people expect it to be, which is fine. I'm not saying anybody needs to come praise me or anything like that, or, or cheer me up or anything along those lines, but when things are wrong, people tend to get vocal, and that's where the vocal minority comes in, and that's where you see a lot of the negative comments, and I don't see it just on my channel. I've actually looked around on YouTube, and I see... <laughs> Uh, I don't want to name any names, but I have been to other um, very prominent YouTube channels, and I've read their comments. I'm like, does everyone else get this kind of negativity on their channel? And actually, yes, I, I do see it as a whole. Um, and I've seen this on a few other channels, and not just one or two. Uh, it seems to me that, that that's kind of what's going on in the... In the general, in today's YouTube, today's internet audience is what I want to call it. I was actually discussing this with a good friend of mine the other night. Um, today's YouTube audience tends to feel very, ah, tends to seem like they feel very self entitled to the things that show up on the internet, even though they do nothing really to earn them. Um, and that's, <laughs> that's kind of sad to me. Uh, but you've just got to ignore those kind of people and, and go on with your business. Like I said, it's, it's, it's a lot easier to focus on the bad. <laughs> whenever you do YouTube and things like that like you can get like 500 likes and then you get like 10 dislikes and you're like what <laughs> what did you not like <laughs> um, of course this is the kind of thing that that you experience early on like after a while after you have a larger audience you're just gonna have, you just accept the fact that you're gonna have dislikes for whatever reason and you tend not to look at those but uh, yeah it's a lot easier to focus on the bad than the good sometimes uh, and one more time, this is the last time I'm going to say this, I swear, I do not have a negative outlook on things. I've just been taking this time to, it's sort of a time of like self-discovery, I think, um, when it comes to YouTube. I think every YouTuber, especially those who get, uh, oh no, especially those who get fairly large, uh, tend to go through several different phases. Um, and I think this is just one of the phases that I'm going through, as far as YouTube is concerned. Again, I'm not going to quit YouTube. I do, I'm not. I love YouTube. YouTube is awesome. Um, should I keep going with this video, or should I save or what it is Friday night and I want to get a YouTube video uploaded before I go out yeah I'll go ahead and save let's see if I'll continue this later I'm not sure there's no guarantees this was just a one-off video I might continue Donkey Kong Country leave me something in the comments let me know um, and if you like this video hit the like button if you didn't like it hit the dislike button give me some honest feedback I want to see what you guys think of this as a whole all right um, and leave me some comments on any of the stuff that I've talked about too because I want to get your your feedback as far as that's concerned all right thanks a lot for watching guys and I'll see you next time